11 p.m. Voicing Meridian Mantha Caldwell and surrounding areas of Idaho and Eastern Oregon. <laughs> Hi. And tonight we're being sensational. Because why not? <laughs> oh, yeah. So how is everyone? <clears throat> Good. Oh, there we go. Ooh, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so did I have audio? Um. Yeah, but uh. Yeah, you did. I don't know how well they heard it or not, but. Who cares? <laughs> Who's really listening? Right, man. Who's watching? I mean, come on. I'm trying to just get this. No, stuff. people watch. Right. That doesn't mean they listen. You know that. Right, right. People will talk to you and hear you and not listen to you. Yes, dear? Look at what? Oh, that's cool. You've got a rubber band. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's making his hand into a frog. Just by making his legs, his leg fingers springy. Oh, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I guess, right? Huh? Okay. Get back, little bug. The switcher is being weird, man. Right now? Yeah, it's just not working right now. Oh. Yeah, it's a big surprise, right? <laughs> no, not really. It was working a minute ago, right? Of course. Yeah. Well, you know. Wait. No, well, that's operator error, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you know how it is. So hopefully we have audio going out tonight. <clears throat> There's been a problem with the switcher the last four weeks apparently. Uh, we'll see if we can get it turned off again because I thought I'd share this a little bit. Okay, here we, uh, let me bring down this. Uh, there we go. Yeah, bring down the music. Yeah, bring down the music. <laughs> well, not too much though. People. Right, you want a little segue in the background or, you know. Whatever, a little entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this came from the Congress of the United States, House of Representatives, Washington, D.C. I'm sure a lot of you got yours, too. From Bill Sawley, 1st District, Idaho, Committee on Nat Natural Resources, Committee on Oversight and Government Reform. Love that one. <coughs> Oops. I'd like to be active in that one. Maybe I should. <laughs> See if I can really get our audio cut off. Right. <laughs> Dear dude, I wanted to take a moment to update you on an issue that affects veterans here in Idaho. In the Idaho State Capitol, there is a glass case with the flags of Idaho regiments that served in World War I. Our state has a proud heritage of serving our country in time of need. We are doing that today, with hundreds of young Idahoans serving in Iraq, Afghanistan, and throughout the world. 
As long as I serve in Congress, I will never forget the obligation I have to these splendid men and women, the pride of our state and nation. I agree with that. I'm married to one. He's awesome. <laughs> he did not get to fight. Nope. But he wanted to, tried to reenlist, couldn't. The Army wouldn't take me, man. <laughs> I was a Marine. <laughs> they don't want my type in, there in the Army. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what did I say, man? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That's what you feel, I guess, right? Yeah. It is my duty and honor to help provide them with everything they need to serve, fight, and win. And I will never waver in that commitment. I'm really glad to hear that. I can't tell you how glad I am to hear that. Because they need some stuff. So they don't, you know. Right. One bill you may find of interest is H.R. 3026, the Military Spouses Memorial Act of 2007. Introduced by U.S. Representative Thelma Drake, Republican Virginia, on July 12, 2007, this bill would authorize the Military Spouse Legacy Look Association, that. Inc., Look at that. to establish a commemorative Look work. That. Look at what, babe? I see those every day. What? These fingers. So cool. Those fingers really are cool. Those are some of the coolest fingers I know. Yeah. Yes, they are. You know why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because they're attached to you. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Corn. Okay. Um, this bill would authorize the Military Spouse Legacy Association, Inc., to establish a commemorative work on federal land in the District of Columbia oh, and its environs up. to honor all those who have put their country first as military spouses throughout our nation's big history. Guy. Big guy. Big guy. H.R. 3026 has been referred to House Committee on Natural Resources. Which I guess I'm trying to make a connection there. With the House Resources, yeah, I'm the, the Committee on Natural Resources is that's what he is he, is dealing with this bill on putting up a memorial for military spouses. I mean, I'm a military spouse, and yeah, you know, I'm cool, and I know military spouses are really cool. Yeah, but I'm still. Really I, I don't. I don't confused mean to downplay <laughs> the. I don't mean to downplay the memorial. I just. I'm just saying there's other things that they could use. Right. I know that for a fact. Right. I've used the Navy Marine Corps Welfare Fund. Right. Yeah, that one. <laughs> let's, let's not get into that whole thing. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, other than, you know. <laughs> what? Well, actually, yeah. That You know what? A lot of people maybe should know about that. Cause A lot of people don't know about that. You know here, that? Here, let me say something. We, uh, when, we were, when I was in the Marine Corps, um, I was a Lance Corporal, and, and uh, we were struggling to survive, as most <laughs> Marines enlisted especially. Most. <laughs> most everybody. Most yeah. women. And uh, I was stationed out in North Carolina, and we were, we were really uh, down, on our, down on our luck, so to speak. <laughs> Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, our van uh, <laughs> completely, the transmission Died. dropped out of it on Camp Lejeune, and uh, and I was basically out of a, w without a car, and we were trying to get a home, and she, you know, trying to get everything situated, and, and so we were going to use the Marine Corps Relief Society, right? Big guy. Uh, to get some help financially, right? Big guy swim and of course, water. what they do is they have Sweetheart. you. Big guy swim a water. Big guy swim in the water. Big guy Continue swim for me, if you would. Water. Uh, where were you? Big guy um, swim we were. Water. Oh, they we have went you. to the Navy he Marine Corps Welfare Fund because somebody was actually kind enough to tell us about it, which isn't always the case, from what I understand. Many, many, many people who are struggling in the military are not aware of it. And it's supposed to be there to help you and to help you, you know, where you need to catch up. And then they help you counsel, you know, they counsel you. And I went in there and I was there early so that I could fill out my paperwork and be ready for the time of my appointment. And it was a morning appointment, 10 o'clock. And I was in there at 9.15. And I waited and I wrote and I waited until something close to noon. And they finally hurried me back. And the lady sat there and looked at my thing and she said, you know, I really don't know where to tell you to cut back. You seem to be living, you seem to be doing everything you can. Well, we can offer you $65. 
And I said, really? And you know, we have to pay it back within, they had it, they had it set up so that you paid it back in five months, starting two months after they gave it to you. They started taking on installments of like 20, or what, $12 or, so you paid over five months and there was no interest, okay? And it was something, it was better than nothing and it was, I'm sure it's all that they can do. Right. But, but, <coughs> it's not enough. And, well, let me continue. And, you know, again, I'm not trying to downplay the memorial. Sure, it would be great. It would be great at a time when everyone's, it would be great at a time when it was more appropriate. Mm -hmm. But that may be just my opinion, and right. I am interested in those of others. Yeah, so if sometimes you can I read hear these, us yeah, sometimes tonight. I, sometimes <laughs> I read these things, and I get all up in arms, and I'm all like, ooh, you know. But, you know, I missed something, and I'm not really grasping the whole thing. And I have some friends that help me kind of, they just kind of offer me other perspectives and opinions, and it's awesome because right. I need that. Yeah. Uh, I think we all do. Yeah. If we can find people that we can... Lucky <laughs> that. Uh, like you, I believe the spouses of the men and women Lucky of our armed that. services have selfless, selflessly served our country. As a member of the Committee on Natural Resources, this is a bill I am following very closely. Also, as someone who enjoys natural resources, yeah, no kidding. I could see allocating some time to those, perhaps. Right. Or this government reform thing that they talk about up here, the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform. <laughs> A little of that, I could, I could stand a little of that. Now, I, I don't know anything about Bill Solly, so I have nothing against him because I don't know anything about him. So I can't speak one word ag against the man. Right, I'm just right. reading you the letter that I got in the mail and telling you how I feel based on this letter. Yeah, so. and, it, and it is, to me, it was pretty confusing in any way, but. <laughs> well, it was to me too, but then I read it again and yeah. I'm like, you know what? This well, is for a memorial in Washington, D.C. for military spouses who could use other things a whole hell of a lot more right right so maybe some nice limbs for their you know a little more armor armor uh, oh or better s reconnaissance yeah there you go you know r robots more Predator uh, more drones. uavs up in the air man yeah let's let's and do cruising some of that. through the buildings and pilot. instead of our buddies please accept my respect and admiration for your service when actually the military spouse in our situation was me but let's never mind that i'm sure yeah. that he just met the family as your representative in Congress, I am committed to doing whatever I can to ensure your care and the protection of your rights. <laughs> Good. I'm hey. really glad to hear that, and I intend to take you up on that if at any time I ever find I can. <laughs> <laughs> it is truly an honor to represent you in Congress. Awesome. It is honor, an honor to be represented by you. I'm sure you're a very decent human being. Right? Hey, as far as we know, man. That's right. I don't, I don't know him personally, so I can't really speak I know. for them. Neither do I. <laughs> if I may ever be of any other assistance to you, wow. please feel free to contact me. And I'm sure he's, I'm sure that, I'm sure that it's because he cares. I'm sure that he's, you, I mean that in all honesty. If you knew me, you would understand that I mean that in all honesty. I'm sure that he cares, and I'm sure that he thinks he's doing what's best. I happen to disagree. Well, That we, is my we, right as an American just, citizen. We just think the money would be better served somewhere else. <laughs> You know, it's that well, simple. Well, that's what I'm saying. I happen to disagree. Yeah, exactly. And he says he's committed Look to preserving my rights. Hey. So, Look therefore, my right to, to say that. Good to be American, Look isn't it? That. <laughs> that's right. That. Let it never be said that you are Mr. That. Doom and Gloom. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love this country, man. I, I served this country I know as you best do. I could. Yes, dear. I know. Yeah. It's a rubber band. It's cool, isn't it? Go like that on your hand. And Idaho kicks ass. Yes, <laughs> Idaho does kick ass. And all of its people. Yeah. As do the people of many other states. Yes. Although I will not name names. Yeah. <laughs> but Minnesota is Minnesota's one. Cool. I have a great deal of loyalty to Minnesota. Well, yeah. I really like them. Yeah. I really like them. Minnesotans, eh? But you, you know, don't you know, we were talking the other day, and I was saying, I don't really base my, I don't really, people, somebody said, you know, do you like me, and is this something you concern yourself with? You know, the question, do you like me? Right. And I was like, you know what, if I based my friendships on what I like, they would be so fluid and liquid, because one day I might like one thing, and one day I might like something completely different. Today, I might not like you. But if I love you, and I'm, I'm your friend, I still care about you enough to not be bothered by the fact that maybe I don't like you right now. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, we know what that, I mean. I totally know what you mean, man. I know, you totally know what I mean. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know that you know. Now you know that I know that you so know that I know what you mean. I really appreciate Minnesota and what it brought to my heritage. 
I am a proud half Norwegian woman. Well, of, of half Norwegian descent, I should Norwegian. say. Norwegian. My ancestors actually did come from Norway, some of them, and Here. and um, within like recent history. Uh. And some of my and two of my great grandmothers wagon trained, which I think is really cool. They yeah. were pioneer women. Yeah, and uh, you know we've got the old Tollgate Road up by us, and you know, and of course yeah. all the other historic. My great grandma may have traveled here. that road because she went from. <laughs> well, she, but she went through Lewiston. See, she dropped one of her sons off in Lewiston way back when. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So she was. Cool. She went up there. She probably didn't go on Old Tollgate Road unless it goes up through Lewiston. Right. Do you think it does? I. You know what? I really don't know for sure. That was probably <laughs> the Lewis and Clark Trail or something. I don't know. I don't know I enough about it. I should learn more. Yeah, uh, we'll get back to you people back on that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever. We'll be back on that one. Yeah. Like they care. Yeah. Yeah, the History Be Channel will do it. We want the History Channel to do it for us. They, mm -hmm. they have much better production quality. <laughs> oh, and this is the rooster tail because we know you didn't see any footage of this at all this week. What? I'm I bet sure the news that. the news would never <laughs> cover this. And I'm sure they didn't have much better coverage, but whatever. <laughs> Ours is homegrown. Yeah. yeah. Keep your forest green, man. <laughs> In so many ways. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I didn't see that before. Look at the mermaid in the sky. Yeah. What? Sitting on a rock. Oh, no, she's polishing her movies. Yes, dear? Cloud I guess I, horn. I guess I never checked if our audio was going out yet. <laughs> oh, maybe you should do that. Eat that? Yeah. I don't want to eat that. I don't eat rubber bands. Yeah, I don't want to eat that. Yeah, audio's working. It's just, uh, I don't know how good the quality is. <laughs> that I think the speaker just really sucks. <laughs> so. Oh, well. It's looking good on the board and all the gauges and every all the little dials and things. This is moments of awareness. <laughs> and from day one, it has been live TV. We do the best we can with what we've got. Terry did the best she could this week to get the problem solved. I think it's She's solved. She's got right? some fixes on the way. I just don't think anyone's calling. That's all. <laughs> so? No, that's cool. That's cool. They're just enjoying the footage, man. Yeah, and this lively conversation we're Let having, man. Let them enjoy the footage okay. and the lively oh, conversation. Okay. They don't want to <laughs> rain on Bill Solly's parade. He's probably a great guy. They he, he, you know what? He might even watch our show. <laughs> and if he does, I would like to reiterate. Hey, dude. Spend the money other places, okay? It's just it's just <laughs> a word from one of your constituents. I might even vote for you if I thought it mattered. And if you uh, helped decriminalize marijuana. Wow. Oh, you know, dude had a talk with a friend this week. That was yeah. my public services announcement tonight. Yeah. Decriminalize marijuana medicinally and also legalize hemp for all the thousands and thousands of Glad possibilities especially right now with with our drought situation and the farmers and what our country is going through um, has anyone looked at the possibilities of you know hip production I don't know and you know and that's you don't hear about it that's the thing I would you don't uh, hear about it you know and, and what's what organization or what does he represent again what the, Who? Uh, bill the letter, what is one of the things he quotes? That oh, he's Department of Natural Resources, Committee on Natural Resources. The Committee of Natural Resources, imagine that. Yeah, and Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, come on. So legalize hemp and marijuana and, you know, let's save our farmers. Let's save, let's get this country back on its feet, man. Yeah, you know? the crops, well... We need a. I, that's why I'd love to, to have a, you know, show exactly all the recent studies and, and research. You know, we need. That's where you know, enlist the History Channel to really dig into that kind of thing. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We want to enlist some prof professional production companies to look into the current situation with hemp and hemp-based products. That and especially now with all the renewable. Uh, things yeah. being <laughs> talked about. Yeah, that's the <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm just amazed. That's the rooster tail. Rooster. That's because now you're scared. Go a rooster tail? Scared of what? Go big brother. Every big, brother. big brother. Big brother. Big brother. Bold yeah. statement to me. Legalize it, man. Don't criticize it. Rooster tail? What? 
<laughs> Don't criticize it. That's how it gets in the public. Do criticize it. Yeah, absolutely. But criticize it critically. Yeah, look at the current, look at the current. Think about your own situation and the situations of your relatives. And think about... Well, here, here's something I'd like to say, and I'm not going to Whether your relatives are farmers or ill. Um, yeah, in fact, you had brought it up, and I sorry, I'm sorry, I kind of was going on my thing. Um, no, that's fine. Uh, my friend at work that uh, mentioned, you know, a situation, and I, you know, I won't name names, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's, you know. I, Why would you name names? Well, I know. <laughs> It'd be nice if we had some, you know. But it's not our business to tell other people's names. Mom, right. But he told you the story. You don't have to prove it to anyone, yeah. whether it's true or not. But you can tell them what the story is, and if they choose to believe it, they'll understand where you're coming from a little Mom. bit on this. Mom. So I would share it. <laughs> I'm a little choked up. I understand that. <laughs> you could show them. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Mommy, That's probably sun. for the best. Sun, that is like a sun, isn't it? Here. It's a big yellow light in the sky. Yeah. Awesome. There are no sunspots this week. There have been no sunspots for at least four or five days. No sunspots. Imagine that. Unless there were some in between that we didn't know about. <laughs> okay. How you doing? <laughs> Good. Take your time. You know I can fill it. Okay. <laughs> Yes, dear? That is the leg. That is my leg. You can sit on my leg, yeah. You can bounce. Sit on my legs. Well, here, I might have to put them up here because... Is that okay? I'll bounce them this way, yeah. Then I can bounce better. Yeah. Okay, good. So, what else? Oh. All my friends, how you doing? You ready? <laughs> no way, man. Okay. Well, we'll we'll change the subject a little. Change the subject, you okay? Well, my I can tell you that my aunt died of um, brain cancer, metastatic brain cancer. Um, what about a year and a half ago now? That's better. <laughs> and uh, she was old. She was 82, and she had lived a good full life, and she was ready to go. But there was a lot of pain and discomfort and heartache for my dad and my mom, who was her best friend, and who took care of her for the last year or so at, in their home in Minnesota. And at the time, medical marijuana was legal in Minnesota. I think they're thinking of repealing that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if they let her use it. I know they probably wouldn't tell me if they did, just because, you know, that's not the kind of thing you want to present to your kid, right? Yeah, especially if, you know, they're okay with it. <laughs> you know. Well, yeah, but, you know, like, my mom grew up, in, my mom was born in 39. She lived on a farm, and she said pot grew everywhere on their farm. And her brothers all used it. She was always a teetotaler. She never cared for it. She's never really tried right. it. She's never been into pills. She's never, my mom would go to a cocktail party with my dad in the 70s, yeah. <laughs> or in the... Yeah, in the 70s, because they were married in 1960, and they're still married. So they set a good example in that, in that <laughs> respect, because they went through some shit. Right. And uh, uh, I know it. I know you're hot, baby. Do you want your shirt off? No. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe if you go out in the control room with Dad. Yeah, you'll come in here, bud. It's a little cooler in there, I think. It's real hot in the studio. Yeah. Uh, where was I? Uh, Minnesota talking about repealing the medical marijuana. Oh, and my mom growing up on the farm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, right. so in the 40s, <laughs> in the 40s and 50s, it pretty much grew all over, you know. Now, her sister just had a, a quarter of a lobe removed with cancer of oh, her lung. okay. Um, last year, after my aunt died. Yeah. And my my other aunt died. And my friend's <coughs> mother had a similar thing done. Uh, I guess it, it went through her whole system. Well, hers went, hers metastasized, yeah. Yeah. And Which is horrible, horrible. Her, her parents were too conservative to be even presented that uh, as an option. So she had to be pretty young when this happened, too, because if her parents were still around and, and making that decision for her. Right, yeah, that's, yeah, I wasn't. I and mean, I, probably maybe in her 40s or something. Right, I don't know for sure. 
It sounded and that's like she just was harsh. young. It sounded like she was pretty young, and and you know I. Do you want to give an age range for this person? Uh, so that we kind of uh, know. Twenty-seven. Okay, so I think uh, if that happened, <coughs> if that happened in the early twenties, mom would have been in the forties probably. So pretty yeah. young, and the parents maybe in the sixties, say. Yeah. But still, you know, having that much say, it's sad. Yeah. Because yeah. it's really, really painful. Everything I've ever heard about metastatic cancer is really, really painful. Right. Right. Yeah. And to see your, you know, I was talking to someone on Yada about that, actually. The same thing that um, she had to watch a parent go through that. And it was the only thing that would have helped. And it was never recommended. If the doctor had recommended it, she could have le legally used it. But mm. the doctor wouldn't recommend it. So, you know. Right. And this is what happens. Yep. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Doom and Gloom, end of the world is coming, and you all better be ready. <laughs> we're, all, we're all shitting emotional. Oh, my God, wow. Uh, yeah, we're all getting all emotional and stuff. And I can't run right now. See the clock? Remember the clock? Benny? This one doesn't work. I read that because it was your idea. Your Oh, you're great. <laughs> Remember when both the hands go straight up? Yep. Yeah, that's when the show goes over. Yeah, yeah. so. Okay, and 30, then we'll go. 34, yeah. about 34, yeah. and we'll about 34 more minutes. Maybe it's because it's really warm. Step away. Is that be fun? 34 okay. minutes okay, bud? Right after the clock, all the hands get up. So they're all pointing up at the 12. You see the 12 on top? Then we can run, okay? Run. Run, yeah. Oh, run. Not now. <laughs> we both the hands get up to the top, okay? Yeah. Then we'll go. to get uh the, he got the um what's that dude the car. car that white um oh the speed racer speed car. racer car yeah, yeah. yeah that's that. but he'll want a bike pretty soon so that's cool and grandpa wanted to be informed when he was ready for a bike right that's you know how right. grandpas are right <laughs> oh yes <laughs> Lightning! Yeah, I was hoping I got I almost, I was like, oh no! <laughs> that was just completely fortunate. <laughs> yeah. I was like, thank you, God. So, hey, 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 did I tell you? I didn't tell you this. What? 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 Remember I told you about the Idaho Statesman? Uh, a little bit. You know, bit. I, I put a comment on their website, on one of their stories. Oh, and yeah. They, yeah, yeah. Um, and right. they took it off. Right, right. And I didn't think it was controversial. Right. I, and I certainly wasn't attacking anyone. There was no profanity. Uh huh. I don't think there was profanity. Maybe I said shit. <gasps> but I don't think so. I mean, I wouldn't say that in my first post at the Idaho Statesman. I doubt it. So anyway, and I usually avoid that anyway unless I need to use it. Right. It's got better if I'm that way. Right. Except when I'm at home. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Well, I guess that's not true. Otherwise, he'd be spouting it off all the time. He hasn't, he hasn't really used it much. Anyway, what was I saying? The Idaho Statesman. Yeah, this girl comes on the Treasure Valley Idahoans group that's linked on my page from Cafe Mom. Uh huh. And she's like, are any business owners here? 
I'm from the Idaho States and we're trying to figure out how to improve our relationships with the community and with the with the business owners in the community and I was like oh. no kidding yeah and I was like well I have a business I'm not really looking to improve it that much right now because I mean I have all the work I can handle tarot right. wise you know I'm way behind that right um well not with my not with the people who private message me or email me or you know get it off my website but with people that I that I give it for free I'm yeah. way behind I'm We're, so sorry oh well <laughs> anyway um I said but I would like to know if there's anyone I can contact about censorship or you know being having been deleted at you know blah 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 and she's like well no and so there's this little dialogue going there and that's cool yeah no kidding and um she's real nice Oh, that's cool. And she's like, well, there's some people that are that you know that complain about their First Amendment rights, you know, because we don't we don't publish their op-ed piece or their letter to the editor. And I'm like, no, I, I'm like, I'm like, uh, I think it's the way I come off when I write stuff that they <laughs> thought I was a troll. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to see if there was someone I could contact to make sure that doesn't happen again, because my intention was entirely not to be inflammatory or right. You know, I was trying to make a point right which is kind of the point of the comment section at the Idaho, Idaho Statesman right <laughs> that's kind of what I thought too. <laughs> uh, and what's this freedom of speech stuff man well I'm not trying to abuse it or anything I'm not trying to like make some kind of outcry against the government or I it's mean I think that there's it's a lot that needs to be fixed in the government but I'm right. not trying to break it apart I'd like to see it get fixed right. so that we don't have to go into some kind of bloody revolution I'd like to see evolution I'd like to see us pick up the slack where it needs to be picked up before everything falls apart. Right. Right. You know? Exactly. So I have nothing against the government even. We just want it to work right and be effective. And right. I Not think Not waste could. our tax dollars, please? Yeah, I think we <laughs> I mean, come on. That would be a good place. That would be a good... Yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel, right there. <laughs> Seafood. <laughs> Ew, nice. <laughs> you doing, Betty? Yeah, hey, there's his new toy. There's your new toy that you decided on. Your speed racer. Speed racer. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we're not affected by television at all. <laughs> Did he? Uh, what? Nothing. We're not affected. What do you mean t affected by television? What? Who, what? What? Yeah, what? Television Speed Racer? affect anything? In we haven't life? seen Speed Racer. I know, but there's been lots of previews of it. <laughs> he doesn't see that. He doesn't like commercials. Remember? That's right. He doesn't. <laughs> he's not my remote, Daddy. Yep. He... Speed through the commercials. Get back to the show. Oh, Jeez. I shouldn't say that because I forget that. That's one of the things that they're trying to figure out how not to let us do on TiVo and DVR. <laughs> Did you know that, right? You know, right, we're trying right. to figure out yes. technology to prevent us from fast forwarding through Of course. Commercials. You know how much advertising revenue they lose? It's so <laughs> stupid. No, it's so stupid. The product placement thing. Product man. placement, man. Exactly. You'd be everywhere. People would want you everywhere. We would We oh. would love to endorse products that we actually use. Yeah, I mean, if they're any good. I mean, if, you know, if they suck, of course they're not going to get much endorsement. But so what? That's the right. way, you know, it works in a, in a real, like community. Well, I like this and I don't like that. I'm well, not lying about it so I can get some money. Well, no kidding. And nowadays you got such easily targeted marketing, you know, so like the peop the few people that watch our show, they they might like the same products that we use. <laughs> they might, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, or maybe. Uh, so we might even get some endorsement cash, man. That'd be nice. Yeah, it would be great to get paid to do this for a living. And once again, we would love to get paid to and do this for And we don't need that much money. We're not very expensive. No, you know, sixty, hundred thousand dollars plus bennies would be nice. We used to think we should be expensive. Yeah, yeah. We That's used cheap to think with today's marketing. I can't fly around, baby. We can we can bring it up here. You want to bring it up here? Show everybody. Well, you can uh, detach if you need to. Why? No, I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> he knows that he, he has to wait until midnight. Detach. It's detach. Time. It's time. Ready to fly? Well, we're flying over here. We're flying over here right now. This way, yeah. Fly, fly. Woo, fly the big jet. Woo, we can go all the way around the table if you want. Go all the way around the table. Let's go around the table. Lots of people out there going, oh, I know how you feel. <laughs> hey, that's my house. <laughs> oh, hey. What? Yeah, well. 
only $750,000 two years ago, now $200,000. Oh. This is really depressing. I didn't spoke. That's a moment of awareness people do not want to hear. I, what? Dude. He could not hear it through Doom the and gloom. Awesome music <laughs> affecting your psychoses. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. I think it's my pants. Oh, weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In your pants. <laughs> What? I don't know. Twat? I couldn't hear you. Oh! Hey, man! <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. Now our audio's out! <laughs> oh, wait, at least nobody's balls are hanging out. <laughs> Balzac. But you know, that's like a lot Harry of Harry people... Balzac. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harry. I, I just love your name. <laughs> <laughs> what? If you didn't say that, people would have thought you were joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except the people that know him that would have been like, oh my god, I know that guy! Hey, Harry, Harry's cool, man. He, and he is Harry. <laughs> yeah, so I, I bet he has one. <laughs> Harry Balzac. Unless he shaves, he could be a model. Or nares. He could be a model, yeah. Yeah, you never know. We don't know these things about people, and yet we make judgments based upon what I know. we see. Yes, and what, what's in a name anyway? Come on. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm dude, you're peace. He's dude junior. What the heck? It means nothing. What can we talk about? <laughs> There's the rooster tail. It's slow mo. Fly, baby, fly. We can't fly. Well, we'll fly back this way, okay? okay. Fly. Oh. Ow. 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 Oh, wow. What? Was that loud? Yeah, in my head it was. <laughs> Sorry. No, not you. Oh. It was. <laughs> no, the music. <laughs> music. How many bars is that? <laughs> <laughs> what music? Three. Can we cover two? Music? I don't know. You know. I was actually I was kind of wondering. I can't really remember what a bar is anyway. So a bar is one set of notes in between the bars. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Music. It depends if she's if she's like really high or something. Music. No, That's it one. doesn't. It's in it's in the timing. How many, how many oh, okay. notes are in a bar? How many measures are in a bar? Oh, okay. <laughs> My audio's still good. Think about to unplug me. Okay. No audio. Oh. I guess they'll just have to, <laughs> to listen to me. Keep talking. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what to say right now. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Pick something out of thin air. Oh, hey. <laughs> I like your voice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Thank you, buddy. Would you like to fly around here now with that up? Yeah. Would you like to fly around the table? No. Oh, excuse me. The deal was we weren't going to fly at all if my microphone didn't get plugged back in. That's a fair deal. Yep. But I'll fly around the table if he wants to plug it back in. Me plug it up. No. You need to respect this one hour. Take it down. No. It's one hour, buddy, and we're almost, we've got 20 minutes left. Okay? You are welcome to hang out with me, and you're welcome to talk to me, and you're even welcome to fly your airplane around with me up here. Right. But right now, we're using the people of Boise's time. We're going to spend it with the people of Boise. It 
Wednesday. All right. It's yeah. our All right. Thank time. You. It's your time, their time, and our well, time. Well, in a sense, because it's cable access. Uh, right. It is the people's time. It is the people's time. So, you know. <laughs> right. If they want to spend it listening to us, they should get to listen to us, right? Right. Or come and produce your own show. Well, that too. But <laughs> a lot of people don't want to do that. All right. They just want to watch what crazy things we do. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, what's that? Or listen to us go on and on about, you know. The end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our big jet crashed into the tree. Whoa, big jet. So what are some positive things that have happened recently? <laughs> oh, well, Julie started coming to, to Yada. Do you still have the Yada address in there? Uh, I, I, I don't see it. You know, she's been my friend for a long time. Right. And she started coming to Yada, and she's been spending time and hanging out, and it's great because, you know, now it's not just me. Right. You know, and she's known me long enough to know me yeah. and to know that, you know, who I really am. So she can correct me if I'm misrepresenting myself. Right. And she and I, we don't think the same way. I mean, she's an Aquarius, and I'm a Leo, and mm -hmm. she actually, she's an Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Taurus moon, Scorpio ascendant. Huh. Okay? Okay. Fixed, fixed, fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing Leo. And, uh, you know, and I'm a Leo and they're opposite. Right. You know? So, and then my, Tor my Scorpio moon and her Taurus moon, like my Scorpio moon and your Taurus moon. Right. You know? So we don't see things the same way, but we understand one another's perspectives. Right. You know? And we complement one another's perspectives, you know? Yeah. But she... Big bug. Big bug. Big bug. Oh, is it? Oh, big bug. I see. It looks like a praying mantis, doesn't it? Kind of like a big bug. Yeah. Praying mantis. Yeah. 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 It sure does. That's cool. Yeah. I have your camera in my purse, too, if you wanted that. You might like to take pictures. Is my necklace hitting that? Uh, I haven't heard it banging okay. anything, so no, that's cool. Awesome. Sounds cool to me, man. See, that rooster tail is really pretty. It's nice when they turn it on. That's excess water that they don't need to produce electricity and can't use for whatever, I guess. That's what I read anyway. Nice mirror there, huh? Yeah, facing south. <laughs> <laughs> facing south, yeah. I don't know if Daddy's <laughs> is in there, baby. There's another one in there, though. What? And there's some egg rolls. Oh. I, don't, I think that's just paper. You want me to get you some dinner? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh. oh, hey, I found my guitar. <laughs> oh, hey. No, I actually do want to get a real guitar. Let's see if I can play it. Get a whammy bar. <laughs> Stratocaster with a whammy bar. La, 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 la. That's probably more than three bars of that, but <laughs> if Frank Zappa's estate wants to come after me for saying it, I will welcome the publicity oh, with yummy. open arms. I seem like a real publicity hound, don't I? No way. I bet I'd be a really bad stage mom. <laughs> We might be a little harsh sometimes. Well, it's hard to know where to draw the line sometimes. And if you get caught up in it, I could see where people could go a little off the deep end. But I would hope that he would check us or we would check ourselves more likely. Well, not only that. You and I would check each other. And but I think if he didn't, be... he would be right there going, uh, you guys, stop. And there should be other professionals there. <laughs> there should us. be other professionals, you would hope. But, you know, I don't know. Sometimes in some of those worlds, they get kind of closed circles. Well, we might be only doing cable access then, too. <laughs> What? We may be only on cable access. We're only on cable access. Right, but when he's like older and stuff. and <laughs> When he's older? Oh, I'm just saying if I were ever to like start trying to push him towards showbiz. Right, right. I don't think that would be a good idea because I could be quite a stage mom. Yeah. I think it has to be entirely up to him and we have to do our best to see to it that he gets everything that he needs along the way in terms of all the other things that don't come with showbiz. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Things parents do. Yeah. Guidelines, morals, <laughs> education. education. <laughs> things that should be a parent's responsibility. Yeah, I agree. First and foremost, I mean, along with the professionals that help us with that. 
you know, the good teachers. Tutors. Educators of our state and other people's states. I hope they're good. I trust they're good. Right. So, you know, you know, you want to know something I noticed at the Idaho Statesman Common Board that I thought was really quite interesting? What? You did not see people coming on there from Idaho, for the most part, with bad grammar, bad spelling, people, mm. new. I mean, you know how all these people are using the you are, you know, the freaking text. Yeah, the LOL crap. You know, can I, well, I say LOL all the time, but that's... <laughs> Is that a call? Yeah. Hello. Hello, it's me, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> How did we know? How did you know? <laughs> How you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing fine. How about you guys? Pretty good. You can good. actually hear us, can't you? I can't hear you. The sound's off. It is? Yep. Well. <laughs> it was working in here. Uh, it was. It was totally messing. That's too funny. It's beautiful. But you still got a picture, though. Well, it's a beautiful picture. Man, that figures. <laughs> it was working uh, in it the It was coming in monitor. through my TV. Really? Yeah, here, I'm going to go play with some buttons What about the one out there? What about that TV? I'm going to go check <laughs> and just see. <laughs> so you guys ha have a conversation. Uh, nice to hear from you, Sarah, but I'm going to go play with more buttons, okay? Okay, well. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Okay. Here. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I'm here, actually. <laughs> you didn't I know did. yourself. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I, I was like waving at the camera, but I wasn't in it. <laughs> oh wait! Funny, funny, funny. Here's it's funny. an egg roll. Is that yummy? Is that good? Is that another phone call? Is it? Uh, no, I thought I heard a phone. He says, "Keep going." <laughs> he probably thinks it's somebody saying, "What is this? You don't have any audio." <laughs> and they're much less interesting than someone we know. And if it's not that person and you are you had something to say, well, I'm sorry, watch us on YouTube and then next week call us back again, earlier. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so how have you been? Well, I've been well. You have but or have? I have. You're good. But okay. you know, I'm going to complain to you a little bit. I was thinking about you earlier. Yeah, what? You know my friends at my group, Yada, yeah. where I spend all my days and we talk about everything under the sun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, there's this thing happening, yeah. and it's the same thing that's been taking place in America over the last several decades, mm -hmm. at least, where it's just a little bit of censorship here because we need to control this group of people. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Banning people for the day for calling somebody a bitch, and it's like, you know what? Mm -hmm. She is speaking her mind. That person, she, she thinks that person is a bitch right now. Mm -hmm. Let her say it. Let her hear how she sounds saying it. Let her moderate herself next time. Yeah. I've watched people grow. I've watched people decide that they don't want to present themselves that way. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And that they want to be grown-ups. Yeah. And they want to be... And I'm just... And I'm, and I'm at a point where I feel like if I keep moderating this group, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm completely ineffective because I won't do anything, you see? Mm -hmm. I won't stop it. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't care if you argue with each other until you have nothing more to say. Mm -hmm. One day you'll realize it's not productive. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. In war games, even the computer realizes it, and the computer doesn't have any emotions. Mm -hmm. doesn't have the sense to stop at some point and say, I'm just getting frustrated. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> I come here to be happy. I come here to talk about things. I come here to, like, unravel my feelings and, like, hear what you think and get advice from you and understand mm -hmm. why I think the way I think and why you think the way you think and how we can all kind of think bigger and better and for each other and for ourselves and for That's everyone. Right. So it's not like it's not like I want you to think my way. I want you to think your way right. with the most and best support you can have. That's right. And open right? more doors. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know how to say this to people in a way that they understand this isn't about my ego or me wanting to have some kind of control or my need to feel needed, which I do. I like to feel needed. I'll admit that. <laughs> And Who does it, right? You are high up there. That's awesome. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm having a hard time getting the point across. That what I'm saying is, I think I would be more effective in another capacity. I'll still be in say what talking about the things that I'm talking about, but no one will be looking to me to say stop. Because mm -hmm. it's not my job to say stop, even as a moderator. But if that's the kind of moderator they need in there to keep the board civil enough to be their board, mm -hmm. 
then that's what they need and it needs to be someone besides me mm -hmm. I don't know do you have any thoughts on that uh, well, <laughs> you know people people are different every day I mean you can have one person and they're, they're different every single day they, they can feel this way one day and the next day you know yeah and, and um, I mean, they're going to they're going to think any way they want to think, right? Basically, you know. And um, some people are so stubborn. If you if you if you open up to them with something that you believe in, they're going to go the opposite way because they're just like that. Yes. You know, and, and then that and frustrates you, and even though so you're the one that's open. And how, then, do you say, look, I'm not trying to be adversarial here, and I'm not trying to go against you. What I'm trying to do is find a solution that works better for all of us. Yeah. So that I'm not sitting here being frustrated because I'm ineffective, and you're not sitting there being frustrated because I'm not doing my job. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yep. Somehow, you have to put the words just right so they can hear. Yeah. And since everybody's different, you have to do it all different ways. <laughs> You know, and let other people do some of it because I notice that sometimes when other people step in and say, you know, look, I hear, I hear where they're coming from, mm -hmm. it makes it easier for people to hear. But yeah. so now they'll go watch this on YouTube and they'll go like, ah, she's talking about us, and I'll be like, well, of course I am. You're my friends. I care about you. I love you. Well, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. And it's so frustrating because you do care. Yeah. Because they are your friends and you love them. I want to make it work. Well, sure, but the thing is, you can't be everybody's sa sa savior kind of thing, you know? To, to me, it's like a, sa a savior. Uh, Oops. Wow, well, that's interesting. <coughs> yeah. Because I don't feel like I do that, but you may be right. Maybe I do. Uh -huh. Which, but that's not bad either, because it makes who you are. No, I hear what you're saying though. That I put a little bit too much of my heart into it, and maybe I don't. Maybe I don't step back and just let things kind of. Roll out the way they will, and mm -hmm. I, I mean, can you really imagine what God or Jesus feels like when we're just running around like a bunch of idiot ants, and they're just saying, "Oh my God!" All the I mean, well, they wouldn't say, "Oh my God," or well, maybe Jesus. <laughs> maybe they would. I don't know. <laughs> and they, but, they, but they may say, "All we have to do is just go to the right." <laughs> yeah. And they don't get it, and they must be tearing their hair out all the time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how volcanoes happen. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yes, dear. What's yeah. he doing? He is showing me how he folded the uh, sirloin burger box. Oh, how neat. Yeah, and he's been learning about patience lately, and Good. patience is challenging, you know. So, uh, he's he, we've been trying to accommodate him a little bit tonight, but yeah. he's doing good. That's good. That's a good boy. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm always hesitant with that because I'm always like, but then I, but then I say, well, he is a good boy. He is a good kid. You know, it's like I don't want to get him into this mode of thinking that he has to be good. Oh, but I at know. the same time, you know, he is, and he should. Be, that should be acknowledged. Uh -huh. You know, so yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. You know, I mean, we're, we're all basically good. We all can make mistakes. That yes. doesn't mean we're bad. Like, right. like, you know, lots of people would say, you're a bad kid, that's a bad thing to do. But when, when I was, when Jessica was growing up, I never said that. All I said was, Jessica, some of the things that you do are bad choices, and um, some of the things you do, I don't like. Yeah, and here's but a I, consequence. Yeah, yeah, but I always will like you, I always will love you. Yeah. yeah. That some of the things that you do are not nice. Right. Sometimes, you know. So, That's know, why she's such a nice young woman today. She is. I'm still looking forward to meeting her, and summer is better she for is, us. So. Oh, she's a wonderful girl. Yeah. She, well, I guess she's 22. I guess she's a woman now, but to me, she's a wonderful girl. Well, of course. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I would even probably call her a girl, <laughs> just because to me, she's quite young. Yes, she is. I could, I could technically be her mother. <laughs> well, it's possible, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Although, if I had been a pregnant 17-year-old in my school, I would not have been in my school. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That would have been one way to get myself into the public school. I guess I guess everyone's probably glad I didn't use that. 
I never went. I was always miserable that I never got to go to public school. I wanted to go just for the last six months of my senior year, and I was not allowed to do that. You weren't even allowed to do that? No. That was what your parents said? Uh, yeah, there was a big stink about it. It was all, you know, conferences for three days straight. You want to go to this school, and this is why you want to go to this school. And finally, it's like, you know what? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to your stupid school. I'll graduate from your stupid school. You'll tell your stupid lies about me. But, <laughs> but, 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 the education was good. You know, I'm not complaining. Good. I'm not complaining. What I'm saying is that... We're lifeaholics. Lifeaholics. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Life I was always bitter about not being able to go to the public school that last six months. And it's mm -hmm. like, well, now that I think about it, at least I didn't make some of the choices I could have made mm -hmm. in order to get to do that. So mm -hmm. I'm glad of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but <You did> well. <laughs> well, I lived through it all, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the best we can all hope for, right? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Live through it, hopefully come out the other side a little wiser, a little bit wrinklier. What do we care about that, right? <laughs> well, unless we're certain types of people in certain roles in society and certain... Isn't that cute? <laughs> That's my squirrel. Oh. Our squirrel. Does he have a name? Uh, squirrel. <laughs> if you ask a uh, little dude, he'll, call, he'll tell you it's his... Well, he's, he kind of says Gober, Gobin, <laughs> but the Q U thing is a little. Gober. Go, yeah, that's well, that's what I I said. Is he named Gober? And he's like, yeah. So, but he says yeah to pretty much everything right now. So, yeah. if it's asked in a kind of a positive, I want a yeah from this <laughs> tone, you know. Yes, dear. See what? He's showing me the sirloin burger box again. Right. But the other side of it, I can't see. Oh, I wonder. Ooh, it's got a hole in it. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh. But you have a lot of Um, just emotionally a little bit. Yeah. Well, let's go and step. We always want to help people. You know, I'm the same way that the thing is, um, you know, it's like a little kid. If we hold, if we hold them all the time, so that he walks or she won't get hurt, so that he doesn't learn how to crawl and walk. Okay, but you know what? You know what I want to say about that? Wait. <coughs> In the two minutes before we go off the air, <laughs> we're not allowed to let him get hurt anymore. So, right. yeah, no that kidding. puts us in a little bit of a bind sometimes, because it's like I know that he needs to learn this lesson, but if I let him get hurt. And I have to take him to a doctor. We're considered somehow bad parents if, you know. Yeah. People can, people, I hear people, I hear people all the time who are like, they see a news story about something, they're like, oh, that parent was awful. And I'm like, man, you don't even know them. Mm -hmm. Okay. But. <laughs> oh, I know. People can be really odd. And it's yeah. none of their business. And you see a child and that child's happy, that child's not abused. There's not a thing wrong with that child. Because it's a systematic thing. It's something that occurs on a regular basis that breaks them down. Mm -hmm. An instance of something mm -hmm. is not an abuse. As mm -hmm. long as you recognize and you stop and you draw the line, you know? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. don't do it again. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about hitting your kids. I'm talking about drawing the line before that mm -hmm. for myself. Mm -hmm. If you think you can draw the line after that, that's fine. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to fault you on it, but... <laughs> it's not you, Sarah, personally. Yeah. I can't see you ever having been a real big hitter, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something just, I don't know, not appropriate about that image. <laughs> Our friend Sarah, up in a rage. Although, I, it might happen during the menopausal years, eh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah. I told my friend the other day, I think I might be perimenopausal because I'm 39 and I used to smoke and, you know, and because I wasn't on the emotional bandwagon that week. Mm -hmm. My emotional bandwagon was on another week. This week, I guess. <laughs> so I told her that, and then she was like, oh, yeah, okay. 
That's our squirrel. He's chattering at me. <laughs> I said menopause on the air in conservative Boise, Idaho. Yeah, but they couldn't hear it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, maybe they can read lips. <laughs> They're going to hear it on YouTube. Read my lips. Yeah, the read squirrel said lips. menopause. I think I'm going through menopause, personally. You're going through well, menopause. Menopause. Ex no, menopause. Get it? men yeah, yeah, well, well, no, menopause. They pause from men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My brain just pauses a lot because yeah. I'm a man. Yeah. <laughs> it's a male thing. There's a whole different meaning behind menopause than I can, what men think there is. I can relate. Like, oh, it's all about us. And we're like, yeah, that's right. It's all about you. I can totally relate to this squirrel, like, heavy duty, like. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chat, 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 chat. Oh, forget it. She was. Oh, there's a oh, kitty. There's the cat. Yeah, that's Violet. Oh. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Hello. For something to eat. <laughs> oh, look, he's up in the tree. I can't get him. He's too good. squirrel. Little dude loves that. Hey, what are you doing? Kitty cat. Oh, run away. <laughs> run away. Run away. Run away. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, she she doesn't really... They're, they're, I have two male cats that will kind of go after the stuff out there, but they're half-hearted about it. They oh. rarely catch anything, and if they were more wholehearted about it, I would try to do something about it. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to go switch us on live again. Yeah, soon. We've got to do that because we're over our time now. Well, I don't care. I'm going to do a little jam since our audio didn't work. Awesome. Let people watch our little chickadee. Is that the chickadee? Mountain chickadee, yeah. And there's a flash of a lazuli bunting on here. Just a flash. Well, let's uh, let's let everyone see it since you know. I'm gonna. There's it's our here. time. Oh, here goes. Bye bye. <laughs> my ramen banana for the butterflies. This is my little baby. This is ramen noodles. He likes cold ramen noodles sometimes. There's a river. Oh, that looks so cool. It's so beautiful. <laughs> no complaint there. And there are fish in it in the pond. Just little bitty ones. We don't fish it, but I would for a little dude. I think that this year he might want to because he's been watching Mickey Mouse. And uh, he's been like, fishing. And I'm like, well, maybe we'll make a fishing rod if you catch a little trout or something. We'll see what we decide to do with it. See if you decide to be bloodthirsty. switched automatically. Oh yeah? Yeah, but I'm still recording, so. Oh, okay, good. That's Butch there. Good, then I don't have to switch it. Oh. I don't think it's the, I don't think it's the um, switcher. It's, I think it's something in here.